Mark Hill, Museum Cato. Hey, this is Mark Hill with Museum Kale once again. We're going to check out the traditional art exhibit with our artist Victor and Jean today. So uh, let's go check it out. kind of funny um, we, we met in art class and we just like started talking and like there was like an instant like sort of connection chemistry whatever you want to call it and we were like and like we we we're pretty sure that we we're on the same like you know there's like a hustle level where like the two artists have to be like at the same sort of hustle you know and like because you can't like do a show with someone who has like who does like doodle sometimes and like you're like this like hardcore like ah, you know so you have to like make sure like you guys have the same level so we're like kind of there we're like yeah let's do it and like because our, our styles are like so they kind of like contrast each other so we're like let's do it and the fact that they're like opposites i think it kind of it created like this interesting synergy and he came up with the name traditional So it's most likely because I do like digital art and Victor does um, um, very traditional art like on canvas and then all of my work they um, come from documents. That's why we kind of combine them together. I mean, we don't have the same um, subjects and concept, but we, we find a way of the country. Even though you don't see it in there, but I enjoy painting um, like furniture or like um, interiors of buildings or or nature. But I, I'm like drawn to portraiture more, I guess because like it's really hard to put my finger on it. I guess it's, I, to me it feels like the most the thing that I connect with the most. There, all of them are people that I do know, and um, either, like, honestly, one of them was, she was a random girl that was sitting at a bench, and I was just like, would you mind modeling for me, like, right now, let's do it, and she was like, let's go, I don't know why she was like, she was so, like, she had such faith in me, like, she's like, this guy knows what he's doing, I don't know, maybe, she, she totally agreed to it. First of all, I can draw like really good. I'm really great and happy. But um, I didn't want to just be another artist or another drawer. And then that's why I kind of um, trying to find my own style. And then it's a lot of negative and positive space and shapes and colors. That's, that's, uh, that's the basis for all, my, um, all of my parts. So. Um, sometimes I, I sometimes I draw like normally, and then after that I have to take up stuff, take up stuff. So that's it. I mean, it's pretty fun. No, I don't use marbles. I get it just come out from nowhere. I mean, if sometimes if I'm upset, if I'm going to do something. That's when my news come in. That's 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 when I start um, putting the work in. And then if I'm happy or whatever, there's no news I can um, concentrate on. Then. Painting over drawing? Oh man! Ah, I think. Um... <laughs> Stick it that way. Uh, dude, okay, okay. 
I'm gonna go with painting just because it's so because it's just so diverse and it's a lot more uh, it's not it's a lot more dynamic I feel like in my opinion because of the range of colors and the feel of of the paint and like how you're able to like mix the colors and like it just feels very therapeutic. Um, sometimes with um, um, drawing, I have to be upset to find my way. And music, I have to be happy. And writing, I have to be lonely and sad, something like that. So, any type of mood that I'm in, I'll find something to create. No matter what. So, you also have a family, like, I think mean, you have like what, two? Yeah, I have two kids, and um, they, my daughter is my inspiration. My inspiration to my biggest fan, but she always sees all my first, um, my creation. She loves it. Oh, that, that's really nice, and, and I love it. I don't take she understands it, but it's just the fact that there's something good because I'm having a bad and she doesn't like it. Sometimes it just pushes me to do more because um, she's following me, and I don't want to fail. You know, when you keep working, it's looking at you, and you keep failing, and then this time, Question: What do you do? You know, I mean, spend all these nights, and uh, even with school, um, I'm going to school now, and I really need the same job. Or if I'm not, if I don't need the same job, I need to do something with me. Because I put a lot of work in school, sleeping late, or whatever, and then she's watching, and then to see me not being successful is not like what the heck? It's time. It just said it would be simple. I think like the number one thing that most artists get wrong is practice and like just doing art every day because like the skills that you acquire through working on your craft every day it's like way more valuable than like money that you'll get now like the money will follow you as you like develop all these like hard-earned skills that you develop through like your entire career like practice is like number one like if you lose everything all you're left with is like your skills that you have it's more like just keep creating and find your style like like i said if if i have draw like really good but i choose not to do that and then to create another style so my, my, my style is really like minimal like it's simple a lot of colors and shapes and i got this day so it's find your signature find something for people to recognize you and stand up. Hey guys, I'm Victor. I'm Jim Gustav from Haiti. I'm just here creating arts and then making beautiful people, nice people here. Thanks for listening to Museum Kale. Thank you for watching Museum Kale. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the power of school. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Stay in school, kids. <laughs>